is a new name written down in glory and it's mine yes it's mine i've met the author of my story and he's mine yes he's mine good morning how y'all doing this morning it is sunday march 27th in the year 2022 glad y'all were able to be with me and watch this broadcast this morning we are going to discuss a new name because the holy spirit has or jesus promises to give us a new name so what is the significance in a name shakespeare said a rose by any other name would smell as sweet this is true you can call it a bula bula and it still has the same fragrance so is there significance in a name in genesis 2:19, we see that the lord brought animals to adam to see what he would name them it says out of the ground the Lord formed every beast of the field and every bird of the air and brought them to Adam to see what he would call them. And whatever Adam called each living creature, that was its name. So there must have been a reason for all the animals to be named. We know that there's power in the name of Jesus. On March 2nd, we looked at Acts chapter 4 verse 12, which says, Nor is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. We know that the apostles were put in jail and commanded not to speak or teach in the name of Jesus. In Luke chapter 10 verse 17 we see that the demons had to leave in the name of Jesus I will leave these teaching the links to the teachings in the comments below so you can go back and and view those if you haven't already many times throughout the Bible the Lord would tell people what their name was or what they should name a child in Genesis 17 verse 5 the Lord changed the name Abram which meant exalted father to Abraham which means father of a multitude in John chapter 1 verse 42 Jesus changed the name of Simon son of John to Peter which means stone so undoubtedly there is importance in a name we see the first mention of a new name in isaiah 62 verses 1 through 3 it says for zion's sake i will not hold my peace and for jerusalem's sake i will not rest until her righteousness goes forth as brightness and her salvation as a lamp that burns the Gentiles shall see your righteousness and all kings your glory you shall be called by a new name which the mouth of the Lord will name you shall also be a crown of glory in the hand of the Lord and a royal diadem in the hand of your God. In Revelation chapter 2 verse 17 we see that Jesus will give us a new name. It says, He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To him who overcomes, I will give some of the hidden manna to eat, and I will give him a white stone and on the stone a new name written 
which no one knows except him who receives it. Jesus also says in Revelation 3 verse 12 that he will write on us his new name. It says, He who overcomes, I will make him a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go out no more. I will write on him the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, the new Jerusalem, which comes down from heaven from my God, and I will write on him my new name. So there is importance in names. There's a reason that we can receive the gift of a new name, and we can also receive Jesus' new name also. So that's all for today. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do that. And if you, uh, you can always feel free to share the videos with your friends and family, either on YouTube or on Facebook. And those of you that do watch, I really appreciate it, and I hope you are blessed by it. Let us pray. Father, we thank you, Lord God, for this new day that you have made. Father God, we thank you that, that you say you will give us a new name if we overcome. Father God, we ask that you would give us strength, Lord God, to overcome. Lord God, there's so much going on in the world right now. Lord God, we know that you have not fallen off your throne. Lord God, you are still the God of the heavens and the God of of uh, God of promise, Lord God. You've made us promises that you will fulfill in your word. And Father God, we just praise you and give you all the glory for that, Lord God. Lord God, we just pray, Lord God, that that people will seek you, Lord God, in these hard times. They will seek you. They will seek uh, Jesus and make him Lord and Savior. And we thank you that the Holy Spirit can speak to us, Lord God, that we can know what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. And Father God, we just put all our faith and trust in you. Father God, we pray for those in our family, Lord God, and our friends, Lord God, that are sick. Lord God, we just pray for healing in their bodies. Lord God, your word says that you are the great physician. You are the one that heals. And Father God, by Jesus' stripes, we receive that healing in the name of Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. I hope y'all have a great day today. Uh, it is Sunday, so if you're able to get out and uh, meet with others in the house of God, wherever it is that you worship, and have a great day. Mm -hmm.